Welcome to a quick overview of a SSH honeypot that I've installed. Uh, once again, if you hear a beep in the background, that's an activity on the actual honeypot. You've set up a little system that forwards a TCP22, which is HSH, to the internet, and at the back end, it is nothing but purely a logger. It does all the key exchanges. So, what we actually have, let's look at some activity that's actually happening. This session is from an IP address 3.85.29.37, which we'll look at later where it's originating from. And as you can see, a very active and actually using possibly a script or an application to hit root with a dictionary of passwords going on. As you can see here, you the on SS user auth request event. We've got root and the password is exclamation mark QA, etc. Now look at that, it's a bit fast. A lot of activity still coming in in the back end and the objective here is for us to understand how we can actually monitor this and how we can log this within our environment the first thing I'd like to address is never put SSH on the outside directly to the back end unless you want to actually determine if you know who's knocking on your door on the outside and you can actually look at the activity on your enterprise on the outside now also SSH, what we've done here is actually developed it so it does a key exchange, it looks like a full SSH but all it does, it, every user or name and password combination a user sends through, it will just tell him that it is incorrect and log it for us. The objective here is to understand what is going on the outside, this is not a publicized website or an IP address and it is picked up by normally by scans what the guys are doing in ranges and if they find an ssh open for example here they will actually hit it we often find only that it is users that will might try once or twice and carry on um, normally then we would assume that it is at the keyboard and guys is playing around yeah at this one it is actually a full-on attack trying to get into the system now when we look at that address, now the address we can find out who owns it by going to IP info, give the IP address and slash JSON, and that will give us the owner where it's coming from, geolocation. And as we can see here, this is an Amazon AWS site. So somebody has created a session that took some uh, infrastructure or service uh, as a service and then using that to hit the environment. What I would suggest in your environment is to put on down honeypots all over internally and possibly externally as well and let those log to a central system so you can look at the activity. If you're interested on actually just asking, this is in a Windows environment because it makes it easier for us to log into the back end to a syslog. In this case, we're actually using SQLite and it's all inclusive. So if you want to actually have something like this, uh, give me a DM on the actual um, Twitter handle that you actually saw right in the beginning and I'll actually share it with you. And I'll actually just leave it here to actually carry on so you can actually look at the activity within the environment.